record on this computer. And here we are. All right, welcome back everybody to Aligning with Success. And since the purpose of this call is stated in the title, Aligning with Success, first thing I wanna do is recognize success. So who would like to share your success uh, of last month? Or for that matter, in this last week? Uh, of the opening of August. So let's start with July successes. Does anyone have something they'd like to share besides Leo? Because we know Leo has lots to share. <laughs> Anybody else? Any successes you'd like to report in on? Me? It's my turn? No, not yet. We'll get to you. Does anybody have something they'd like to share? Well, okay. I'll, uh, July was a finish to uh, Club TI. So that so you, you completed uh, no, Club wait a minute. Com? It was it was June. It was June that finished Club Ki. So July, uh, I I always feel like once I finished a Club Ki, I'm starting over. Right. And so of course my my minimum has to be two thousand, preferably four thousand. Uh, two thousand happened without any kind of input from me. Um, in in July, so I'm I'm kind of now in this um, stage where there are a lot of uh, seeds percolating, and some of them are more than seeds. But I'm very conscious of having to create uh, another club ki. It, it has to happen, and for a while I was just too stressed about. It. I said, "Look, you gotta you gotta uh, let go a bit." Because things happen better if you do that. So okay, I'm glad you said that because I was going to address your language. Yeah. And we're going to do that. Uh, that. That's what I want to talk about today, going back to some of the basics. But thank you for that, Paul. Congratulations on completing one and starting one. Club KI is a focal point of our compensation strategy or, or our business building strategy um, that I think is really important, especially if you're targeting uh, the, uh, what the hell? team Kaizen or team Taishi. Um, we had Barbara, your hand was up. Well, Alexa was one out. I on was second. going to relay, um, an exciting product result of a, of a customer, but, um, being as we're talking about club key, I, I will save it for another time. Okay. Um, I mean, we always like results. So results of all kinds are great, um, and especially It'll only product take results. a moment if you'd like it. Uh, well, let's hear it. Okay, a colleague of mine that I work with at um, the charity, a bull mastiff came up to greet her. He wanted to play, but he startled her and knocked her down, and she suffered a fracture where the wrist bone came through the skin, and she required surgery that evening with a, a plate and several pins. And when she was released from hospital, she had a hard cast under the arm and a soft cast on top. And I went over there and I put power chip directly underneath the fracture on the hard cast and another one on the fracture on the soft cast and then pulled a knee wrap over the cast and everything else. And she kept that on. Now he told her he wanted to see her in two weeks just to check to make sure there wasn't any infection. She'd get the staples out in about four weeks. She went back at the two week mark and he was absolutely blown away with the healing process. He took the staples out at the two week mark, determined there was absolutely no infection and the healing was far advanced. And um, she went back two weeks later and, oh, he had given her a splint to wear at that time. She found the splint uncomfortable. So then I took her an elbow wrap and we put it inside the splint again with the magnets above and below. And two weeks later, she went back and he said, you don't require a splint anymore, except when you are being active. If you're uh, using your, your hand to lift something, use a uh, return to full activity, but just be careful. Wear the splint um, when you're trying to do some things that you haven't done for six weeks. So what would have been normal? 
a normal re um, he process. didn't expect he didn't expect to take the staples out for at least four weeks he expected that there could be some signs of infection mm -hmm. um he expected the hand to be somewhat swollen and he expected the bruising to still be there at the two-week mark I the heard. bruising was gone <laughs> there was no swelling and um she from about the second day that she had our technologies on her she had no discomfort whatsoever didn't require any uh medication for discomfort was sleeping the night through um her energy level was poor because of the whole experience and the fright that she'd been through but she made a remarkable recovery and she's the first one to admit that she was i said to her i don't you don't need to believe what's going to happen her name is barb as well you don't need to believe what's going to happen barb but trust me i believe in what i think you're going to experience so let's just see what happens well, and by the way what has been her feedback since she experienced it oh amazing absolutely amazing like at the two week mark when she went back for her follow-up when he was blowing away with her results I said to her, well, I'm not at all surprised. I said, are you? And she said to me directly, you believed it was going to work and you felt strongly enough to loan me the technologies. You said it wasn't going to do any further harm, that it could very much increase the healing process. And she said, I had to believe you because your belief was so strong. And she said, and now I'm a believer, just based on how excited he was with my results. Fantastic. Cool. And um, and she's just she's just going ahead in leaps and bounds. You know, way there was a uh, what they expected. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that, um, Barb. You know, there was a study that I had seen a, de a decade or decades ago out of Israel, and they were using magnets um, on bone fractures. And they found, according to this study, the acceleration of the, re, of the repair was 600% faster. 600% was the number that they had, they had come up with in their study. So the fact that somebody's feeling better sooner by using our products is of no surprise Well, I had to another us, experience, Mike. When we had our bed and breakfast, just after we were introduced to Nikan, um, I had pneumonia at the time and I coughed so hard and we had two doctors in house at the time and they were watching my breathing and they turned to Wayne and said, you better take her to emerge. We think she's broken some ribs. And I had, I'd broken three ribs. And the doctor said to me that I would be six to eight weeks healing properly. Rita Sue Bolton, who you may know is a consultant and I was talking with her and she said, take the cankotherm back belt, put the magflex in it, put it over your ribs, wear it 24 seven, put on the, the cankotherm long johns and it was 82 degrees. She said, wear that day and night. I only took the, the uh, cankotherm back belt and flex off to swim or to shower. And I was to go back at the three week mark. Now, this doctor was also a personal friend and we got into an argument. And when I went in, he said, how are you doing? I said, I'm all healed. And he said, you couldn't be. I said, but I am. And he said, let me see you breathe. And I took a full breath. And that was the secret. Wearing the Magflex in the cankotherm belt over the ribs, I was able to fully inflate my lungs. And of course, when you have shallow breathing, you're more inclined to promote the pneumonia that I already had, it's not going to clear up as quickly. So in that three week timeline of wearing the Magflex and the Kinkotherm back belt, not only did my pneumonia dissipate, but my ribs healed. And we got into this argument and he didn't believe me. And I said, okay, I know it's too soon for x-rays, but order one x-ray and let's settle this argument, which he did and the ribs were totally healed. And that wow. was at the three week mark. Instead, he had said before that it would be six to eight weeks healing. Okay.
Wow. And I didn't lose a day of work. <laughs> so. Well, there you go, folks. And anybody listening to this recording, um, if you have broken ribs or pneumonia or pretty much anything ailing you, try some of the Niken products and be amazed like the rest of us. Matt, thanks, Barb. Madeline, you have your hand up. Successes? Yes, I have my statistics to give, but I'll Wonderful. Add, let's, I have... hear, let's hear them. If well, the first I have to say, I have three joint replacements, four fractures, and they've all, all in the past nine years, they've all healed faster. Uh, every single one of them. X-ray proof. And out of the hospital and discharged from physical therapy, two of the joint replacements, I didn't even go to physical therapy. Okay, so here's my statistics. Uh, first, first quarter of the year, I was uh, took a little time out. But um, I have over 13,000 points. So it's a club key eye, although I'm not sure about the retail, but doubled. Uh, let me see this past month. PPV in July was 31.58. And one of those uh, was I thought would be the third sponsor. I have a, a new um, first level executive and a second level 500 in June. And then my new one for um, July fell through, but she looks like she's going to be coming again this coming month. So it was just a better uh, retail month in July. So 31.58 for the PPV, the July PGV was 49.67. This is nice having this little report. Hey, that's and awesome. And then eight new, eight new registered customers in July and two new registered customers and the two sponsored in June. So this is getting back in the saddle again. Way to go, Madeline. Wow, that's a yeah, nice way to start. You. That but I'm not, you, I don't know about the retail also puts yet. You, I mean, I, you've, I, already, you've already qualified for Team Kaizen and Team Taishi. No, team no, team. no, I didn't. Because the first four months, I mean, the first the first four months of the year, I did not do Club Ki. Oh, okay. So I haven't qualified for it yet. This okay, is however, with your volume, again. you're in contention, if I'm not mistaken, with the, the, with the trip under the new... Uh, I think I will with the July. old one as well, Mike. Yeah, I, yeah, either yeah. way, so, with the old one or the new one. And think, tonight, think... Sue Kuhn is back on, Sue Stets Kuhn, and she's uh, had a little leave with some of her own orthopedic issues, and she's back in the saddle too. So she was an executive from two years ago. Okay, uh, so one, just uh, let, let me just jump in here. So back, yeah. who, with volumes for the, the contest for Japan, I think the 40th spot was like 3,100 or something like that. So you're mm -hmm. in the top 40 already after one month. And it is the, it's the top 40 who are in contention for this trip. But the top spot was, uh, no, I can't remember if it's 18,000. It was at the point that I was looking at, but it's somewhere around 18,000. So that's, that's what you're chasing in the top spot. Um, and of course, you know, we have the whole, the remainder of the year to do that. So, um, so guys, it's not over until it's over. It looks like um, I, I may have been wrong about this. I I, I sort of suggested to the company that they uh, they just set a volume and anybody hits the volume that's going to qualify them. But they said no. We've done this in Latin America, and what we're showing you as minimum numbers, the people are going to blow past those numbers. I'm saying, okay, well, yeah. let's see, let's do that. So it looks like that's already uh, happening. Because um, if you multiply the top spot by five more months, it's way past the minimum requirement. So I, I think, uh, yeah, they, they may prove me wrong. So cool. Um, Clara, you've got your hands up. Thanks, Madeline. Successes for July. That's what we're talking about. All right, there we go. Um yeah, so I have a little bit of um, success to share. I mean, my story is a little different, but it's 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 good. It's a good story. Um, so one of the things that I did. Um, so last week, um, I was able to successfully renew my membership for for Niken, and. Um, but something really interesting happened today. Um, so this morning I was getting ready to go to the store to get a few things because I'm, I'm taking a trip this week. Um, I'm actually taking a trip to New York where I'm going to be spending time with my boyfriend. But in the process, I'm hoping to do business in New York too. Um, but this morning I was so miserably um 
emotional and I was just really, I had a lot of anxiety this morning and my mood was just kind of down in the dumps. However, I've been drinking this water for, I think, is it two months? I'm, I, it's been a while, but I, I actually um, drank lots of water before I left for the store. And I kid you not, after drinking that water, because I usually, you know, this was when I first woke up. But after I drank that magnetized water, my mood just went through the root. Like everything improved. I was in some pain this morning. My arm has been acting up lately and I've been having issues with my wrist. But I drank that water today and everything just left. Okay, All Clara, that I'm going to make a suggestion here. And I want everybody watching and listening to take me up on this. Here's a book that I have on my, on my desk. Because this comes up almost every single day that I'm having a conversation with somebody. And we, when we start talking about water. And then they're usually people who have some knowledge about energy and water and so forth. And I said, have you ever heard of Dr. Emoto? Asuri Emoto. This book has images and descriptions of what he did when he worked with water and the impact of energy, energy on the water molecules, which you're comprised of. So it is of no surprise to me that you can have a mood shift, an energy shift, which was probably an energy shift that led to a mood shift just by drinking the water. So again, for those of you who haven't seen this, you can look them up online, Dr. Emoto, uh, Mas Mas Dr. Masuro Emoto, or just Dr. Emoto, and look at his images that when he was working with water and, it's a, uh, and subjecting the water to energy and how that impacted. So there's, um, there's definitely an effect. Um, one of the reasons why our PyMag water is so much more productive than most waters out there. And I'm always asked, how does this compare to Kangen? I tell people yeah. Kangen is about 10 times the cost and about half of the effectiveness. Um, why? Because it's not a natural process. They don't make water naturally. They make water through electrolysis and all the bells and whistles you can talk about. It's simply not natural. So if you want natural, you go with Nikan. If you want unnatural, well, there's a lot of unnatural things out there. Knock yourself out. <laughs> that's my <laughs> that's my attitude. And, you know, generally speaking, people want natural. So, um, so yeah, and Emoto's work really describes how this, this comes together with the Nikan Pi Mag water. So definitely something... To, to have in your arsenal when you're presenting information or talking to people about uh, about the water, know about this. Okay, any other successes? Leo, let's jump to you. What do you got going for July? What were your successes in July? Give us a recap. You're muted. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Are you ready for French lesson? No. <laughs> <laughs> I began July with already uh, qualified for the Team Taizen. That's, yeah. that's, that's great. And I, I am the road to the Team Tai Chi and my goal to finish the end of September first. And uh, for July, I'm uh, reach uh, four new silver. Four new silver in July. Wow. Yes, not too bad. And for this month, my, my, my goals to have Minimum six silver, four gold, and probably two platinum. Okay. He's got goals. Let's repeat. Silver. How many? Six silvers. For I my my goal for this month. Yeah, this yeah, month, yeah. For August. Six, six, six silver. Yeah. Four gold and two platinum. Okay. You know what? I want to be diamond, Mike. You see my diamond. I see it, Leo. I know. I know. And and everything you're talking about right now is speaking to me like music to my ears. Do you understand? I know what you're doing. You're using the law of attraction the way it's supposed to be used. You already have a vision for August and you have a vision for diamond with this, with, within this year. And those things are aligned. And this call is about aligning with success. And so I can... You know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. 
if I asked you all on this call, how many of you have written goals for the month of August? I'd be surprised if there was more than two of you. If I asked you how many of you had written goals for the month of July, I'd be surprised if there was more than two of you. Um, because there is no secret to success, none. You guys on this call are all old enough to have heard it 10,000 times. The question is not whether you know it, it's why don't you apply it? Why don't you apply it like you do brushing your teeth? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't take any more effort than brushing your teeth. And you might say, well, that's, not, that's, that's impossible. It sounds like Leo's doing a lot of work. The work that needs to be done is in your head. That's the only work that needs to be done. Your body follows, your emotions follow. You react and act differently as a consequence of what's going on in your head. What story that you're telling yourself, what objectives you're setting for yourself, what intentions you're putting out there. The laws of success are very, very clear. It's so simple. What you imagine in your mind and you impress in your subconscious mind, you must express as a consequence of the laws into the physical world. And so the, the invisible becomes visible through you. That's never been a secret, not as long as you've been alive. It's been taught in so many different ways by so many different people. So how do we go from being on a call on a Monday night in August of 2022 and make August of 2022 different than July of 2022? How do we make the rest of 2022 different than 2021? And the answer is the shift that has to happen is here. Once the shift happens in your mind, it begins to happen in your world because you are not the same person. And that's the secret to success. That's it. So what do you need to do to get committed, as committed as you are to brushing your teeth, to making success your, your strategy, your purpose, your intention, the application of your will and your willpower? So to have a goal for six silvers, four golds, and two platinum. How many of you are impressed with that? that, that Leo has a goal for the month of August to have six new silvers, four golds, and two platinums? Now, that's impressive. But as a business owner, is it, is it really impressive as a business owner? If you were a business owner or if you were investing in the stock of Leo LeMay, Leo LeMay is a stock, is a company on the stock market and he wants, to, he wants you to invest in his stock and he's the CEO. If Leo LeMay didn't have goals and expectations for August, how impressed would you be in terms of investing stock in his company? Not very, right? Yeah. So that's the difference. It's, it's subtle, but it's huge. The difference is, what are you expecting? If you're expecting nothing, no difference. If you're sort of flying uh, by the seat of your pants and, and are not projecting out, putting out any intentions, then you'll go whichever way the wind blows. But if you have intentions, then you're the one who's creating the wind. So it's super, super important that we go back to the basics and are reminded constantly that the success that Leo is having as a consequence of what's going on in his team is because he's putting it out there. He has intentions. And it begins with his big overarching intention to be to build and have completed the qualifications for diamond in 2022. Now I can assure you that if he had no intentions of doing diamond in 2022, he wouldn't be thinking about helping people go platinum. That wouldn't be, in, that wouldn't be on his radar. That wouldn't be thoughts that would cross his mind. But when you have those big intentions, then you know the only way to achieve that is to help others achieve some pretty big goals of their own. See what happens? A leads to B, B leads to C, C leads to D. And so everything starts to happen because there's an alignment to the commitment. He's actually acting like the person who wants to succeed. 
he's acting like the person who wants to make that that goal a reality. So it starts with setting a goal, an intention, and then acting like the person who's actually trying to make that thing a reality. And the fear that most people have is, well, I'm not going to set the goal because read my unread message. What what happens if I don't achieve it? Well, what happens if you do? And so what if you don't? Like it's not like you're it's going to cost you your no. life or your life savings. It's a goal. And the goal is not about whether you achieve it or not. It's about moving in a direction towards something worth the effort. And if you don't have it out there, it's not worth the effort. So pretty much every distraction that comes along will become the thing that you are consumed by. And that's what happens. People are consumed by distractions. You consider this day, just this day today. Just go through your day in your mind from, from the time you got out of bed. How many of things that you attended to you tended to your life force, your mind, your energy, your physical time actually went into actually went into things that you weren't planning, things that you didn't have intention or purpose behind. You were simply reacting to what was happening. Think about it. How much of your day? was actually consumed by distractions that were not intentional. How much of your day is actually intentional? So what's the difference between billionaires and millionaires? It's the same as millionaires and thousandaires. It's the same as thousandaires and hundredaires. And it's the same as hundredaires and broke. The difference is intention. That's it. How much of their day is a focused intent? How much of their day goes into activities they intend that are intentional? And how do they deal with activities that are not or, or distractions that are not intentional? How do they deal with that? How do you suppose? Let, let, I'm just going to throw this out there as a question. Anybody can answer. You can all answer. How does a billionaire deal with distractions that are not intentional? How do you think? They ignore it. They ignore it. <laughs> they ignore it. Because delegate. they're in what's that? Delegate. And or they delegate. They certainly ignore it if it's it's a distraction. And if it's important, they delegate. But if it's not intentional, if it's not on their radar, it's not intentional, they don't deal with it. In other words, they spend the majority of their waking hours being intentional. Most people, and I mean most people, spend the majority of their waking hours being distracted, reacting to the distractions of the day. And then to make matters worse, they invented social media. If it wasn't bad enough already, then they throw <laughs> out social media in the mix. And now look at your phone and figure out how many hours a day are you spending on social media in non-productive, non-money-making activity. Imagine that. Imagine how much our level of productivity has been diminished because most people use social media as entertainment and not as productivity. So if you're on social media and you're not posting something, you're consuming. You're a consumer of social media. That's no different than being a consumer of television. How much money do you make watching TV? How much money have you ever made watching television? In the entire life that you've been watching television, how much money did it make you? How much closer did it get you to realizing your potential or living the dreams that you want to live? Think about it. Barbara, you have a... Yeah, I, I just wanted to say that... Um, you know, there was a lot of busy work in the beginning when I started and I had to make that line of demarcation, like what you were saying. How much is it organizing your office and doing that versus getting on the phone and phoning somebody, right? The, the things that do produce results are really the main things that we need to measure. And I'm gonna go back and, and just say again, um, because of COVID, and it's interesting that 
the people that I find are the most successful, Madeline, Leo, like that, are are and you, Michael, get in front of people, getting out there and doing demos. I did my first demo again to inside my home just last week. And then I have my first appointment out at someone else's home. <laughs> but it's me. I mean, here I am. I'm I'm like a kid and get my bag packed. I'm getting my all my little supplies together. You know, and I think about it. How many of you don't have your supply? If you had to meet somebody tomorrow at the coffee shop, are you ready? You bet. You know? What that bag is packed. It has promotional materials in it. It has all my dental products in it. It is my business in a box. That's what I go with. Yeah. I mean, I just, I just got rid of, you know, some of the older catalogs that I'm like, oh, they're dated. Like, why did we date? Why did we put prices on it? Right. Why did we do that? But that's okay. You know, uh, cause here I am four months in California and I'm going through things, cleaning things out. I've got my my Japan dolls, I got them set up here, you know, for, uh, and I'm even wearing, um, oh, I took it off, I worked out, but I had a little piece of Japanese art on me, you know, like just keeping it around for the potentiality, all the things, the goals, the being there, the having tea, high tea in the, you know, hotels and stuff, because it was just such a great thing to be in, you know, Mount Fuji and that amazing Chinese, you know, um, uh, well, it was like the ancient bathhouse that we were at with the old, old food. But anyway, I just think that we have to be one gentle with ourselves, but also aware that we need to up our ante and get ourselves back out there. Whether you wear a mask or not mask, that's up to you, whether, you know, with the pandemic and all that going on. Do it outside. Do it at a picnic bench. I, I'm glad you uh, brought this up. I, I had a really uh, nice conversation today with Julie Taro. Okay. And and um, I, we got to a point where we were we were looking at okay, so what is the distinction? And you know, with Leo's team, what exactly? She said, you know, what exactly do you think is going on there? And I said, there's one thing I can say with certainty is a differentiator between him and 90 percent of the field. They're in front of people doing demos. I said, when that happens, you bypass the brain and you're now into the limbic system. You're now imp Im impacting that person on an emotional level because their, their, their mind is not comprehending what's going on. They're just simply reacting to the experience. And that experience elevates the energy. And we know that because every time, we do, a, every time we do a meeting, gets coon. Oops, let me just put that on mute. Every time we do a meeting and the testimonials are spoken of, the energy goes up. So when somebody experiences something firsthand, no matter how long you spend talking to somebody, whether it's on Zoom or in person, it's not until the demo happens that, boom, something changes. So there is one thing that I know Leo's team does with consistency is they get in front of people to do those demos. Those demos become... The, the catalyst in what happens. And they make it happen through in-homes, one-on-ones, coffee shops, whatever. But that is one of the most important distinctions. I don't know that there's much else that really distinguishes what Leo's team is doing relative to every, everybody else. We talk Nikan, we talk the language, we, you know, we show stuff, we talk about stuff, but it's those demos that are the point of demarcation. And I well, want to also ask- more thing, Mike. One more yeah. thing that I think that, you know, it's those little moments, but Leo educates. I don't know if this is for you for the business or not, taking it away, but if it is, then there are ways to make additional income, right? You, he explains the power start and the, I think you do, Leo, uh, the different ways of earning. Well, we can money ask him, but I mean, right away, right? That and creating urgency, right? Creating that bit of urgency in the midst of the demos, I think is vital. Well, I, regardless, Leo, I think the key away, is you... the demos. Would you agree, Leo? Is that, if, if you had to say, there's one thing that you cannot not do, there's, the one, there's one ingredient in my way of doing things that is critical, that if I didn't do this, everything else would fall apart. What is that one thing, Leo? 
Oof. Is it the, is it the demos? Can somebody can translate for me because I'm just Catherine. Catherine. Who do we have that can translate to ask Leo the question? Uh, much better, Leo. Okay. okay. Go ahead, Paul. Okay, Leo. Oui, c'est quoi? No, no, mais qu'est-ce que tu, tu voulais dire? C'est quoi la, la question? No, 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 he wants the oh, question oh, in la French. Question, uh, la question, c'est que, est-ce que c'est les démonstrations qui sont les, la chose la plus importante que, que tu fais avec, avec que ton groupe fait uh, pour avoir les résultats que, que tu as? Yes. There you go. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Every day or every week, uh, many demos with uh, all my group. And yeah. so that's what I say. It's easy with Nikan. We lucky to have the chance to make a demo with them. And so, you know, I, I was with the network marketing before Nikan. And if you try to explain that, you have a, a lot of hour to explain. <laughs> Even that is good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what did you say? You know, it's it's hard to explain that. But I said, come in. What? Come in. You skeptical? I don't care. And I go to the feet. I do a test. Of, Geez, what just happened? You did. Know, okay, you continue and ta ta ta. Remember the first meeting I do with uh, Marie Fran, another one. She has six guests, and between the finish, two new. Consultant, don't Mary France is there tonight, and four four customers on the same night. And this moment, hundred percent closing. Cause customer or consultant, my average on this moment, Mark is on the line. He can't say you. He speak English. Hundred percent closing. And I organize a business lunch on twenty one to August. And that's what I said to my group. I said, come in with your guests and I guaranteed you minimum customer and consultant after minimum. It's easy, Nikan, with the guys. It's easy to do Nikan with the test. We're lucky to have that. Use exactly. It. You know, use it. <laughs> that's what I do. I'm always with my kid. You see, my whole life, I'm plumber before I have a big, if it, I hate that job, but with Nikan, I just have a little bag and put in that. And I, I don't know who I meet the, the day. I said, hey, I have to see you. And on the restaurant, I do a dollar, 10,000. I do it, you know, easy. So what's that? Easy, easy, easy. Uh, <laughs> I can explain it. All right. Leo, do you Thank you, take Leo. A moment, do you take a moment and share at some point in the demo? Yeah. The power start or the no. a little of the none i just explained and on the demo when on the hand of demo i said you are, do you like it you have a question and i said hey do you know somebody you like to be retired here to three three years and i remember last week at marie france was there the girl said what you say i said i can you i show to you somebody you know want to be retired today to three years me okay do you know anybody who wants to retire three years from now yeah and you know where i take that mike i recommend this book hey guy 45 Please. seconds okay let, let's let's let me I, uh let me put you on uh let me put you on the main frame here so that we get this in full screen here go ahead leo tell us what the book is uh, 45 seconds, change your life, but uh, Don Fella is French mind, but is you uh, can it's available in English, of course. I read a lot of books in the network. Hold it up life. again. Say it, say it, say the name. 45 seconds, you change your life. Okay. Can you turn the book? There we go. Yeah. T okay. So turn the book and say it out loud so we have it on camera. Okay. 45 seconds to change your life by with Don Fila. It's explained to network marketing very, very well. And I say to my group, Mark is on the line, Marie Fran, and said, you must read that on the line. It's not a, 
as early, Mark is a new silver, Mark is tonight. Marie-France, she's new silver. And all read that book. <laughs> Both of yeah, read that book. Wow. All right. Thank you for that. We got some new insights here to bring to the to the equation. That? But it comes back to the, the one thing that we have that few, few, and I mean very few network marketing companies have, the ability to actually produce a result instantly. And that is such a, such a unique property. Now you might say, yeah, but then how am I supposed to build my business long distance internationally? Figure it out. If you had to replicate that demo long distance, how would you do it? Think about it. What would you do? Maybe you would send them a video of you doing it on somebody and say, find somebody to have this done on you or you do it on them. Order the product and see for yourself. Trust me, order one product. If you don't like it, send it back to me. Hey, if they're a prospect and they're worth your time and attention, is it worth it? Right now, Nikan is making it possible for us to share the bracelet. That concept of being able to share a product with the magnetics on it is so we can do those demos long distance. And then we can create the story, the impact, and that experience that we're talking about here that changes everything. I, I have one thing before we go to Ruth. I want to ask you to come back next week with a list, a list of five items and I want them organized in priorities, your priorities, okay? The list consists of the five actions that you can take every single day in your Nikon business that move you toward the realization of your business and income goals, okay? Five actions that you can take every day in order of priority so that there's no question whether or not we are being intentional or we're being distracted. Because I know if I've got my five actions covered, at least one of the five, I know that that day there was intention that I was putting into the business that was productive. It has to be productive intention. That's why I said, give me a list of the five most important things that lead to results in your business in order of priorities. We just discussed one. So that's got to be on your list, a demo of some kind with somebody. Ruth, we're going to, by the way, next week, we're going to list them. So I'm going to actually take notes and we're going to have it recorded. So we have a nice variety of what everybody has uh, assessed as their highest priority actions that lead to the results that they're looking for in their business success. Ruth. So Mike, I wanted to share my success because I'm coming from a different angle. Um, being in California, I really haven't seen anybody live. Everything I've been doing I want to say 99% of my stuff is via Zoom with people around the country. Um, so my July PGV was, four, I'm sorry, 7,300. And my PPV was 4,230. Um, so I just wanted to share with people on the line is that, yes, it's great if you can physically do a demo, but I will tell you, nobody wants to come to my house, even if you invite them. So everything. So what's the secret sauce, Ruth? What are you doing that is resulting in those numbers without having to do a demo? I do everything through Zoom. I do appointments through Zoom. I, I don't demo, I show pictures of things. I, I give testimonies of things. I ask questions to see if they have a need and then I answer those needs so that I can talk to them so that they know what's, that it applies to them. Um, yeah, I do not, I don't do any demos. And so I just wanted to throw that out there. I know that's really important. No, no, no. And I Listen, you, but I, hey, listen, we want to overcome whatever obstacles may be there. Now, I know that you're skilled. The question is, how fast could I convert somebody to be as skilled as you doing what you do versus teaching somebody how to do a demo? So your skill set is what needs to be replicated to some degree to be duplicatable. I know that I can teach somebody how to do a demo much faster than I can teach them the skills that you have when you're doing these these presentations. So it would be useful, incredibly useful. In fact, Ruth, if you would consider recording one of your Zoom sessions or a couple of recruit Zoom sessions and saying, hey guys, I just want to share a typical experience that I have on Zoom. 
uh, so you get an idea of how it is that I'm able to do business on Zoom and cover all the bases. That'd be huge because duplication is what we need in order to grow our downlines. And so whatever it is that you're doing, we should be able to follow and duplicate. Okay, so um, I do it with my own team members. I have them put me in front of people. So they do the 100 name list um, and I sit through them with them. And that's, so it's by repetition, right? It's by practice them seeing, and then I have them partake as it goes on, as we move down the 100 name list. So, but you're, you're being an A, Mm -hmm. in in the in the teaching of this process i'm saying we don't have access to that we're not part of your team but it'd be nice to have that information as a, as a generic training or at least to be able to lift uh, the info from that experience to say oh okay i can see what she's doing oh that's okay and how that leads to something um because it's important that we duplicate that we get this group of people aligned with what works what is successful what is who's achieving success how are they achieving it in a way that we can help others replicate it that's the key and so yeah we need this intel if you're if you're okay with that would be really great with that i'll work with barbara Bertucci. she just messaged me <laughs> all right awesome fantastic yeah. fantastic well a live setting a live situation where it's not a person who knows uh, if you've got barbara Bertucci, she knows too much you no, won't no, no. have the. She was saying that she has a call on Thursday that we could potentially. Is that what okay. you're saying, Barbara? Okay, so okay, yeah. so you we could be the A in the. That. You could be the A then. That would be awesome. If you could be an A in that call, do what you do. Essentially, show us how, what you're doing that's resulting in 4,200 PPV, 7,300 PGV without a demo. I'm interested. Well, and the other thing I want to share is that. 44,000 at least comes from wellness subscriptions on a monthly basis. For me. Okay, that's another important point. Because that's really, and, but that has been building for 22 years. Okay, you know how they well, that's an important quarterly? point. See, these they are info that's information years, yeah. that we need to know because so, it, it, puts, it, puts, it puts context into the info that that 4,200 is a slow grow of volume that's coming from your repeat business through the through the the emphasis of having people on subscriptions. Okay, that's important to know. But um, on top of that, you are generating sales with regularity through a process that doesn't require a demo. So it's still a, a good insight to know what you're doing that's duplicatable that we can do. So cool. Mike, it's also, a, she's also a very good example of the retailing part. You build a good retailing auto ship business for people that don't want to become a member. That's pretty good for that PGV all the time while you're sorting for. And many of those customers then do. And it's easier now, especially with the phone app. Every time they see that phone app, you want to upgrade. It's right there, right yeah, in front of you. I love that. In fact, yep, I used right that there. recently. Yep. I used that recently. I said, okay, yep. I better lock this person in. Let's get them to be a customer. And yes. then they have the click here to upgrade. Yep. Um, so, Ru so Ruth and both Ruth and Sue have been the top retailers and they both are getting those conversions. So that that piece is important with those 500 business models for all the other directs and executives that they have that, again, haven't made a silver decision. If they start duplicating those 500 little modules, then somebody's going to take off. Okay, so it's but there's a that. very clear distinction between what Ruth is doing and what Leo's doing. Leo's breaking yes. silvers, platinums, yes. golds. Yes. Doing what he's doing. Yes. No, there's no question about that. So duplicating, I just said, then duplicating that. If that starts That's duplicating, why it matters. you're building it's, strong qualifying silvers, the, not the, just breaking a silver that doesn't qualify the next month, but building du strong the qualifying thing, silvers. Duplication yes. is really the focus right now, especially uh, once you're duplicating, of course, you want to build a solid business as a follow-up to that with respect to the wellness subscription. So it's it's both oars in the water. You gotta have both oars in the water if your boat is gonna continue to move in the right direction. So you need both. The intelligence from both sides here is really relevant. Mark, you've got your hands up. Just a minute, Mike. Mark, yeah. again, yeah. Nikan, and May. And May. Sorry? Just a minute. Mark is begin Nikan and May. And is there silver last month? Okay. Three months, just three months. Go, Mark. Go ahead. 
Yeah, I just want to like to add to the comment for Leo test. It's amazing because people laughing when we do the test. Um, so I, I was in a big event on the weekend. It's uh, Woodstock and Bose. It's called Bose. It's a city in Quebec. So for you who know uh, Woodstock in the United States, it's a big uh, event. So they try to do it again in Quebec. So I think we get around 2,000 people on the weekend. So camping and exposure and stuff like this. All people, people who want to change the world, the new world, to put the new world uh, uh, in place. And we have a, a table, uh, a kiosk. <laughs> I don't remember how to tell it in English. And for two days, we will have people at the table all the time, all the day. And we do a draw for the bottle, sport bottle, and we get a hundred email. So after the call, I have to do this. We, we share the email and we have to send some email for the test. And, but, but it's, we make fun to explain the Nikon to the people with the, 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 the way Leo doing that. So, um, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry but uh, <laughs> Quebec will be on the map before the end of the year. You will right. see a, a lot of movement in Quebec. I'm pretty right sure. Right on, right, right on. All right, that sounds yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. So tests equals fun. And what do people want more than fun. anything? Fun. They want to have fun. And if, if making money is fun and fun is making money, uh, you got like absolutely the 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 golden key to writing your own check so yes good stuff madeline your hand is up yes i wanted to say one thing about the the energy test the other thing i do is get because he just mentioned new world new world is too much wi-fi so what i always follow the energy strength tests with is putting the cell phone on the body that blows them away more than anything else. Mm. Off and on with putting the sports bottle and then a water bottle that's not a sports bottle without even drinking it. And then with the sports bottle back on and the cell phone on them. I, I had a 15 year old here yesterday for a, um, a 40th wedding anniversary. He was the only 15 year old bored. And I said, come on, let me take you downstairs and show you something. He said, can I have your business card? You know, I'm not 18 yet, but you know, I can do a paper on this now. Okay, I wait, said, so yeah, by Madeline, all means. I want to understand what you're saying with respect to this demo and the cell phone. I know Leo does a similar one. So just so yeah. I know that what, what you're doing, could you describe it to us? Yeah. So I have, well, here, like, I'll, I'll take my water bottle. Can you see me? Because yep, I'm, we got I'm you. you see me now. Okay. So I take you before they drink anything, I take a glass of water, hold it against them, and do a strength test. They're strong. So then I have somebody else that's standing there hold the cell phone against them while they're holding the water there and do another strength test. Goes away. No way. So then I say, wait a minute, it gets better. So then I'll pull out a bottle of water, you know, that I, I have a couple of bottles here, a couple of different brands to show them, doesn't matter which one it is. And I say the PCBs in the plastic, not only does it not have energized water in it, but you're drinking plastic that has PCBs in it that could cause cancer. So talk about environmental. Wait, so what, so you, do with, I, what do you do I with the bottle of water that you've, the, the I take brand a, water? You know, just get us buy bottled water, buy yeah, any what kind do you of do bottled with it? water. Have What's the demo? Uh, go get it and show. I mean, I just pull one out and hold it against them. They're weak. Ah, Put so that that's what you're doing. Down, you're holding the, the bottle. High sports okay. Yeah, they don't even and have to drink it. And so then, then you do the, the then you do the sports bottle. Yes. Same demo. And they're strong. Got it. And then I then I have when they're strong, have somebody else hold the phone against them while they're still holding the sports bottle without having drank the water, and they're weak. And they say, no way. I say, yes. And we're exposed all the time. We're zoomed out. They carry these everywhere. And I, I tell every male, don't put it back in your pocket again. Get yeah. a clip and put it somewhere further away. And then I throw in my background. I said, I started nursing in 1965. And for all you men that are listening, there was no erectile dysfunction in 1965. Very little prostate cancer, bladder cancer. And and a, a guy in church yesterday Sunday had his had his cell phone sitting in his in his shirt pocket right over his heart, 
I followed him right out and I did a strength test with that, with that in his heart, right in his shirt pocket. And I took it away from him and did a strength test without it there. And he said, that can't be. I said, that can cause cardiac arrhythmias. You're having it right over your heart. And so I, I throw in the environmental hazards, not just what our products do. So there's your rationale for why we really need it. And then I have the picture on my cell phone of you know those thousands of bottles versus this one that cost 11 cents or 16 cents or whatever it is now a bottle. So there's the cost, the environmental, um, you know, who would want to drink anything that doesn't give them more energy? <laughs> Brilliant, Madeline. Brilliant. Is there an Ecan product that protects against the phone? I thought that there were. That I is thought something that's what we our need products to add. do. Yeah, no. Well, when I mean, obviously, I said would say. Been done and I haven't done it yet is put a sports wrap, put your Kenco therm wrap over the phone. Yeah, that's what Leo um, does. And also so, having your grounding pad. Yes. What Leo does is he, the grounding pad would work too, by the way, but Leo puts yeah. a Kenco therm wrap and then the phone on top of the cankle therm and yes, it does, yes. do the, does yeah. do shielding. And I've done those lemon tests and all that too, you know, because- So just maybe what we need to do, Leo, you have, a, you have a video that you did of all your demos, correct? Would you mind sharing that video on the, uh, on the core consultant chat so we have it to show everybody in, in reference after this call? I don't care, but it's French. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We'll learn French. Yeah, does, we just yeah. need to learn the demos. Yeah. <laughs> I have to go to, uh, uh, that's me. I, I do it with the Kim Desarmier. You remember Kim? Desarmier? Yes, yes. I do it with her uh, many years ago for training, testing, training, demo. That's why I share to my group. You want to do how to make demo? Just look, this is 25 minutes. And okay, I got to put it in the WhatsApp group. Let's do it. Thank you. Maria France, last one. Hi, I just want to, just a minute, Mike. Yeah. You see, and June, I just want to say, Sandra, she's became silver too after three months. Marie France after five weeks, and the other Marie France six weeks, and Mark three months. And I present to you all four is for minimum uh, goal for the next month, this month. But uh, Sandra is a Marie France. I know he he look for the platinum. I just want to say that. Wow. Thank you guys for you trust me for work with me. I have a lot of fun with you and thank you so much to help me to become the next diamond in Quebec. Thank you so Wonderful. much. Wonderful. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Leo, thank for you. helping us. If it, if it wasn't for him, I would not be, uh, I don't even think I'd be on this Zoom tonight, to be honest. Because he stepped in, I, I guess he saw something. He saw my excitement, which wasn't hard to see, eh, Leo? Across the street, I was like crazy. I was a, a complete nut. I was a nutcase because I saw so many other businesses that, you know, anyway, whatever. Um, <laughs> no, I don't even, yes, just to say, you know, don't be shy to, you know, or sometimes we, we want to show it because I'm, I'm still brand new and I'm, I'm still sometimes, um, I have this internal battle because, uh, like I'm not embarrassed to bring it up. It's just, I don't know how to bring it up. And it's just- Don't ever get embarrassed. I think once we, my, just getting, knowing too much and sharing too much, just have fun. Yeah. I'd like to share two small approaches that were so very successful. Let's and hear it. you don't need to be perfect to, uh, for the outcome to be good. Uh, so I went to a party, there were a hundred people. This was completely out of my comfort zone. I'm a loner, don't like big crowds. I, I went alone. I bought a ticket for $50 to help out. They were collecting money for a girl who has cancer. So I said, okay, I'm going. <laughs> and uh, lots of influential, influential people on the media, a French media here. I thought, oh my goodness, you know. So I go in, I go there, and I don't know anybody, and I start talking to people. You know, hi, my name is so and so, and they were talking to me because that's just how I am. And I see this lady with a cane. A cane, thank you. So I see this lady with a cane, cane, and she's limping, and she's 
badly limping and I'm you know I had a bad car accident 17 years ago and it's just it comes back and it, the the empathy that I have for for her and I'm thinking I don't know how to approach her I don't know what to say like I want to but I don't know so I was like okay there what that is exactly what I'm going to say I said hi I my name is Marie France you don't you know I don't know you um I said, I don't know if you have pain, but I said, I'm a car survivor, I'm a car accident survivor. And I, I have this pain that stayed with me for 17 years, no matter what I tried. And I said, I found this amazing uh, technology that took away my pain. And I don't know if you'd be interested and taking the time and taking half an hour with me so I could show you what it is, what it did to me. She starts crying right there in, 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 in. I'm like, oh my goodness, I had no clue what to say. I, I was just really honest with her and she starts crying and she hugs me. And she says, yes, 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 yes. I'm, okay, okay, <laughs> don't hug me too long. I don't want to cry. <laughs> so yeah, so I have an appointment with her uh, this week. So that's that was like, wow. And then uh, this other guy who I just met, we we were like, I'm I'm helping a political party right now. So I know a lot of people by name, but I've never met them. So I, I meet this man this week and we finally, you know, shake hands and say hi. Oh, I'm so happy to meet you. And um, and. I, had, I just stopped to pick up an item, a promotional item for the political party, and I was leaving. So I start, I, I get up and I turn to him and I said, would you like to see what I do? Just like that, I'm like, oh my goodness, how does that sound, you know, I don't even know him. Anyway, he goes, yeah, okay, <laughs> okay. I'm like, okay, what now, what do I do? So I take out my, I take out my insoles. I put my, um, is that what it's, they're called? Insoles? Yeah. So I put them on the floor. I said, okay, step on here. So he steps on. So we do the, we, we do the magic and he's like, whoa. He goes, okay. He goes, he goes, uh, he goes, I want four of those. I'm like, what? <laughs> he goes, okay, I want four of this. He goes, and that thing for, and I spoke about the Wi-Fi uh, waves with the uh, ankle, the little ankle thing. So I put it on his, uh, his shoulder here and I put the, uh, the phone, I did it, I did it with, with, without, and then I did it with it. And I said, look, you're still on the insoles. I put the phone here, he falls. And then I put the ankle protector put the phone on it and he's really strong. And he's like, whoa. He goes, he goes I I'm gonna need more stuff. He goes, I, I need like a, he goes, I'm getting some, a lot of uh, material coming. He he's like a computer tech. He goes, I've got a lot of material coming here this week and I'm gonna need to protect myself. And he goes, I need like a big comforter or something that I'm gonna hang from the, from the ceiling. Oh, what? Oh my goodness. So anyway, so I got a comforter order and he's gonna hang from the ceiling because he goes, they have to breathe. They can't, you know, overheat. And he goes, I want two of those ankle things because I, I, I have a phone. And he goes, if someone walks in here, I want them to put their phone in there for my guest. And four insoles. And I said, I understand you're a golfer, but are you planning on like selling them? He goes, no, because I have four shoes and I don't want to start switching them around. <laughs> okay. And all that from, would you like to see what I do? Brilliant. And that was that easy. So brilliant. I had to share that. Oh, that was brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you so much for sharing that. And wow. I mean, that's business and what a great business if that's business. So yeah. Awesome. All right, folks, we've been a little bit over an hour and I definitely want to put this one to bed. So thank you for chiming in, sharing your, your, your wisdom, your insights, your successes with us tonight. We learned a bunch of stuff. This video is definitely going to get released because I think it's uh, really, really good info. So 
Thanks everybody for joining. Remember next week, bring your list, your five actions that lead to results, the Nikan actions that you know lead to results that move you in the direction and alignment toward the success of your business. Bring them in, in order of priorities. We want to hear as many of them as possible so we can create a master list of those golden actions. And if we walked away with a, a list of 10 things and you know you could at least do one in a day, you've already done something toward being intentional in your business. So uh, that was awesome. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you, Mike.